guys welcome back so for the long 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 awaited <laughs> video of the year a lot of you have been following me on my instagram page if you're not go to instagram right now hit pause and go follow me um and i have been showing you guys how to diy a master's closet so today's video i'm going to go into depth how to design create as well as build a custom closet by yourself well okay well it was my husband and i but it's a diy project so it's all a labor of love so if you don't know we are definitely major diyers we've done tons of diy projects if you have not checked out those videos do that this closet was my baby and honestly it took us about three weeks to complete it and that's working after hours like after work and on weekends so mostly just nights and weekends a lot um now if we just literally done it all day maybe three days tops full days but that's because my closet is kind of large because of that it took a lot of building so this is a closet this is not a bedroom i know a lot of people out there are taking a spare bedroom and turn it into a closet or you know a dressing room or whatever guys this is my closet i did not take an extra bedroom and i had plenty to spare but no this is a closet this is my closet and i am glad and i'm so grateful that i actually have a closet because a lot of people don't have a closet so i had the space and so i wanted to build up my closet but i'm so happy and so ecstatic to show you guys how we did it so that you can do it yourself as well if you're new here my name is angel i share everything lifestyle so from beauty and fashion to diy projects and home decor if that interests you, be sure to click that subscribe button and follow me along this journey on all my social media platforms as well. So, are you ready? <laughs> are you anxious? Okay, all right, so, all right, let's get started then. So, before I begin, I created my design using IKEA's PAX Planner. And here you can put in the dimensions of your closet which mine was about uh, eight feet by 15 feet. You can put your measurements in and actually build your closet and customize it to your liking. And I literally, I think I designed it. I worked on it for probably a week and a half. And I'll actually do a blog post where I show how I organized it because every, I actually organized every section of this closet as I was building it. So I would know where I was gonna store all of my items. The thing I do like about this is that it is fully customizable. You can do smaller frames, you can do larger frames, you can do doors without doors. It's everything to your liking. So I do appreciate that. And you can know if it'll fit your closet before you buy the materials. So be very weary and very careful of your measurements. And I left room for my door, which is on the right side. So once I designed it and I ordered all my materials, it was time to actually start on the physical closet. And this is how it looked before. It's nothing but wire racks, which is what is standard for most closets. So we begin by removing the wire racks. It's tons of screws, it's tons of nails, and they are deep in the wall. It's, this is very sturdy, and whoever put it in here did a really good job, because it took us a while to remove all the wire racks out of this closet, so. But we were able to accomplish that in about a day. Once it's removed, you have lots of holes in the walls from the screws and nails. So we filled the holes with some caulk so that you know nothing would be crawling back through them, which hopefully not anyway, but yeah, we filled them with caulk.
I wasn't worried about the caulked holes because the frames was gonna cover all of that, so. Once everything was down, it was time to start building the frames. Okay, so this, the frame building, I think is one of the most tedious times um because you depending on how big your closet is or how many frames you have will depend on how long it's going to take you the frames takes up the most time to build one frame by myself depending on if it was the medium size to large size could range anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour um with the both of us again it will still be about 30 minutes um, and that's for a large frame. I have a few different size frames in the closet, um, but this first one that I'm building is one of the largest ones. And pretty much you just follow Ikea's instructions to build in these. I will say that I have both pros and cons to using IKEA furniture. Um, a, con a pro is definitely like it's the wood that they use is some pretty sturdy wood compared to um, other department stores like Walmart or Target. However, the paint on the wood chips very easily. So be wary of that. You can see a chip here on the top corner there, um, but it does chip fairly easy. And um, another con with IKEA furniture is the bags are made from paper. It's like paper board, wood board, paper wood board, but it's really thin. Like we broke one, so um, one we had to do like a a repair for um, and just work around it. Um, so the closet by far is definitely not going to be perfect, but it is a labor of love and it saved us a lot of money so i've given you some cons but again the pros for doing this diy furniture um is definitely to save money like all we had to pay for were the materials we but we did all the labor ourselves so that saves you 80 percent of your budget because hiring other people like um some quotes from other people to de design this closet would have been anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars and that's just something we weren't going to give um and that's just because i'd rather just save that money pay for the necessities and the necessities is the material instead of paying all of that we paid maybe a tenth of that and created this entire closet so that's one great thing that's a pro for doing this diy um, pack system closet to save money two the pack system is very 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 customizable you can do drawers you can do shelves you can do glass shelves you'll see as we start to build i'm going to go into more detail about all the different types of accessories and organizers that are ordered with this closet so it's definitely very, very customizable. And building the pieces are fairly easy. But again, you also have to consider IKEA instructions. You know, they are nothing but pictures, there are no words. So sometimes, you know, you just have to really pay extremely close detail to those pictures <laughs> to make sure you're doing it right. But don't worry, we all made mistakes. I made mistakes, he made mistakes. I mean, we just went back and redid it. So that's something that comes along with it. You have to pray for some patience <laughs> and some understanding, but it really isn't too bad. On a scale of one to 10 for building this furniture, it's probably like a six. It's not too difficult, but it's not a piece of cake either. But once you do one frame, this is, it becomes easy, okay? Once you get one, the rest of it becomes redundant. So that's the key to it. Like get one, take the time on the first one to see all the steps and then follow through with the rest. It makes your life a lot easier in the future um, by doing it right the first time and taking your time.
So once we got all the frames built and put in the closet, that's when we started to slide them together and we attached them to each other. Um, and then we started adding the doors. Once everything was positioned exactly where it was gonna be, we started adding the doors. And I ha have doors on one side of my closet and it's a mixture of white tall doors as well as mirror doors and the doors are fairly heavy so you definitely want to get some help after the doors were on and secured then i started doing the um, extra accessories and internal organizers so now i'm starting on my jean rack it's a jean pull out rack and fairly easy to install you just screw the pulls into the frame and then you attach the um, pull out that you're going to use for your jeans onto that and i really found this to be very useful because i store two to three pairs on each rack and you can pull it out so works great and then i installed a shelf on top of it the shelves are fairly easy depending on the size of the frame it's four to six screws to hold the shelves up and you just screw in the holders and you put the shelf attach the shelf on top of it as you can see the closet now is coming together once we added everything So I have the new light fixture. This is a modern chandelier. Um, I got it installed and it's gorgeous. Guys, it is so gorgeous, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So now I'm continuing to add shelves and drawers. Um, on my back wall, I decided to go for all glass shelves and glass drawers. So you will see that these are not just the straight wood, they're glass. And in the future, I'm gonna come back and add lights, but we'll do that later on down the line. And they go in the exact same way. And in this frame, I'm actually adding a hanger so I can hang clothes on. And these are easy to install as well. Nothing hard about those. You just throw the screws on and put in the pole. Now it's time for the drawers. Okay, y'all know I have built a lot of drawers in my lifetime. These, however, of all the drawers are actually the most simple assembly. Most you have to screw like the pullouts onto the drawer. You have to not only build a drawer, but you also have to screw the pullouts onto the drawer. And it's just a pain in the behind. But the pack system drawers are not hard at all. I mean, seriously, they really aren't. I mean, this is all of a level one or two. Like you just put the three, four sides together, lock it in. And they, the way they built the rollers, um, you just screw the pull out onto the frame and then you just literally lay the drawer on top. 
of it. You'll see me do it. But I will give them that. They made the drawers a lot simpler to put together than most drawers are. And the time to t put together a drawer took me all of maybe um, 15 minutes, if that. And a lot of times we were working together. I mean, the ones you see me doing by myself, that's because he was at work. But if he was home, he was definitely helping me. A lot of times we were working together, like he would build the drawers, I would put them in the frame. So it just sped the process up. So it definitely helps having somebody there to help you build it. It just speeds up the time. So like you guys did with my kitchen island, you asked me questions in the comments. If you have like in-depth questions or you're having issues and you're trying to build it or you know any type of question that I didn't cover in this because there's a ton of stuff that I, you know probably could share with you but I'll be here all night doing that leave a comment and um, I'll either answer it in the comment or I'll I might create a blog post with the questions people have asked to give you more in depth um, because yes we run into issues there's always issues to run into something any type of DIY project you always run into some type of issue um, and hopefully but I can help you through it and so Feel free, don't be scared to ask me an in-depth question about, you know, something you may be having a problem with or you just want to know in general. Okay, so for the handles, these are the handles that I use. They are gold and pretty long, which is the look that I was going for. So to install handles, if you have never installed handles, if you have, then you know you don't have to listen to me. But if you have not, you always screw your handles in from the back. And what I did was I kind of got creative. So I took a piece of paper and drew a sketch of how the distance of the hose and that helped a lot. And I used that on the back to find the holes. Now I drilled um, the holes into it based off the drawing. So you can see me measuring the distance with this piece of paper. It's nothing fancy, it was just a piece of paper, but it definitely was perfect for what I was trying to achieve. So it gave me the correct distance and without having to put tons of, without having to drill tons of holes into this door and comes out nearly perfect. So hopefully that helps you in the future. You can use that for any type of door handle. And this is how they turn out. I love them. So here's the closet that is finished before adding an island in and a rug and all of that. Um, but what I did was I went in with these white hole fillers that Ikea also sells. Guys, these are like genius. And a lot of people don't even know they exist. But if you have any type of Ikea furniture, whether it's a bookshelf in your office or anything with these holes you can get these white hole fillers and it looks a lot better like it it literally blends right in and takes out all of the visual of seeing a black hole so we did this for the entire closet each pack comes with a hundred so you want to make sure to get a few packs I got three but I actually needed a few more so Mm 
and here is how it's looking so this is with all this is with clothes and shoes and this is how it came together this is the finished product i absolutely love 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 this closet it's my piece like I walk into my closet and shut the door and I literally calm down instantly. <laughs> um, I will come back and do a different video to show you how I organize it and, you know, um, like show you easy ways to organize and how to organize. But for now, these are my glass shelves. As you can see, I got glass drawers as well. I have boots. Um, I have hanging space. I have storage space, I have shelves. And then the things that I wanna hide, I can put behind the doors. So it's really perfect. And the light fixture just sets it off like. And inside here, I have more drawers and more hanging space as well as shelving. Um, and that goes for all of my closed doors. You can design these again however you like. I love this ottoman. The ottoman is a silver ottoman that came from Home Goods, and the rug also came from Home Goods. I really, really, really love it. And the pillow came from Burlington's. And the island is a DIY island. It's an IKEA hack, and I'll show you how to create that in a different video. So be sure to keep a lookout. So in my closet, I went with these rose gold hangers and I think they're so cute, like so cute. I really, really like them. Um, and I did this for all the visual hangers. They're all rose gold, so. And this is how the pullout looks with jeans on it. And these hanging poles actually pull out as well. So, it's very cool. And the glass shelves are gonna look really, really, really good once I add lighting because the lighting is gonna go straight through all the glass. So it's gonna be really pretty. I can't wait to do that for you. The Chanel book I bought off Amazon, I will leave a link below. This spinnable tray is so adorable. I bought this from Home Goods. I think it's just, oh, it's so glam. I will come back and give you guys a perfume review as well. I believe the light fixture came from Wayfair and I will leave a link to it below. All right, so let's talk about this mirror. Do you see this floor length mirror? This is a Z Gallery mirror, guys. It is huge, huge, and I really love it. You can see the entire closet from it. Like, it's really, really big. It has designs along the edge, and it's literally nearly as tall as my ceiling. So it's one of the largest mirrors I have ever seen in my life. It is gorgeous, though. It is absolutely gorgeous. So best in believe, you'll be seeing a lot of pictures in that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> but guys i love this closet and i hope i've inspired you because it was a lot of hard work but hard work definitely pays off and saves money <laughs> If you like my closet, you have got to give me a thumbs up and tell me what you like best about it in the comments. I will come back in the future and do an organization video for you to show you where everything is and how I have it organized because there is a method to the madness. I also have another video of how I built this custom IKEA island here in here. Be sure to watch that video in one of my other IKEA hacks videos. It's a DIY project as well. So be sure to keep watching, stay tuned. I really hope I've inspired you guys and motivated you in some type of way. All right, guys, 